in this lesson, there are various suggestions are being made. One of them is to go in. The difficulty that many Kumne practitioners have is that they do an exercise, they do a posture, they do some movements, and then they sit and kind of wait for what is happening. Maybe sensations and feelings here. But that's really very superficial. First of all, you want to look. Is there anywhere in the body sensations and feelings? So remember, the sensations and feelings belong to the body. So as soon as you bring awareness to a certain part of the body, you will get sensations and feelings there because they belong to the body part. Just like if you look somewhere, you will see something. The same as if you bring your awareness to any part of the body, sooner or later sensations will come. And of course, we do kumne to facilitate that. So if you do kumne exercises and you sit still, don't only work with what is coming up, but go to the places where you're not experiencing any sensations and feelings. The only reason why you don't experience sensations and feelings in some places is because there's no awareness there. So bring your awareness throughout the body and play a little bit. You know, do you have sensations in your cheek? Well, go there, bring awareness there, and you feel some tingling starting. That's always a surface sensation begins. I'm also very intrigued by you can go to certain organs. If you're concerned about an organ, you can't make contact with some of my organs. I know they're important, but my liver, I hardly know where it is, or my lungs. Yeah, my heart. Everybody wants the heart. But what about your liver and your kidney? Those are good guys doing good work. So if you make contact with it, you will experience sensations and feelings. And that's really very helpful. Of course, you function without sensations and feelings. But if there are sensations and feelings in specific places, like the organs, like the kidney and the liver, like the lungs, or behind the eyes, if there are sensations and feelings, those parts of the body begin to operate without stress, without contraction. They feel more free to do their function. So take some time to go to certain areas, not only your eyes and your ears, but your forehead or your shoulder. Don't go only to places that you already know you have tension. Go to places where not much seems to be happening or to the lungs, or go explore in all the little crevices of your lungs, or your knees. Take time to bring awareness to the knees, because the knees support a lot of your weight. So if you go there, there will be sensations, and that means that the weight that they are carrying is being circulated. So the knees will become more fluid, more supple, and better support in your daily life. Now, that's one part that you're learning. But there's another aspect in this lesson. And that's the beginning of visualization. And that's a whole separate topic. And we have a separate module on learning to visualize what it means. But in your Kumne experience, if you are aware of a field of energy or yeah, an area in the body where there are sensations, and you settle down, you can go into that layer. If I would su suggest to you that whatever your experience, can you go below it? Just as like in a building, you go down a floor. You are on the sixth floor and you go to the fifth floor. So you have an experience and you go lower. There's another field of energy. And below that may be another one. So in the meantime, you're opening up the ones that are above it. At some point, if you go deep enough, you come to a place of calmness. That's not like absence of anything, but it is like a still reflective surface or something very still that has some depth to it. You want to look for that because in Kumne, when you experience this kind of in-depth calmness, that means on that level, the energies of the senses the body and the mind are integrated. So calmness is feedback that integration is happening. So we're not only awakening sensations and feelings, 
and directing them, stimulating throughout the body. We like them to interact. As they interact deeper, your experience is one of calmness. So that's a very good indication. If you feel that calmness anywhere, it could be a little patch in your experience or more an area, go into it. The first, well, a big part of Kume is active. You want to go into that area deeper and deeper. And at some point, it's like so calm and so still and open, you are in the center of your experience. So practice going deeper, going in, going below, going to areas where you have no sensation. The whole body, your whole being, look for areas that where there are no sensations and feelings, and then go deeper and deeper. So you always go in, you go from the periphery to the center. The center is very calm and still because that's where body and mind are united. When you enter that, we say in Kume, you're beginning to meditate. Meditating is to enter into this stillness, this calm. A little complicated, but just go deeper. Keep going. Don't park your consciousness and say, ah, I'm just waiting until my time is up. Always go deeper, deeper. And then you're going deeper, it opens up. I hope you have a good exploration.